over quickly to Casey from Green Mountain Orchards to tell you a little bit more about why we're here and introduce the other orchards so you can get to know the producers uh, that, we're, that we're benefiting today and that were affected by the frost today and also whose amazing stuff is behind me and you can go buy a lot of really tasty treats from. So thank you again for being here and here is Casey from Green Mountain. Hey everybody, I want to just thank everybody for coming today and supporting all your local orchards and farms here that um, all experienced that May 18th freeze. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Uh, most of us lost most of our apples and also other crops as well. Um, so we really appreciate you coming out. Uh, special thanks to Simone and the Retreat Farm for organizing this. Uh, we've got George Dutton from Duttonberry Farm here. Will Miller from Dwight Miller and Son. Aaron from Scott Farm. Todd Harlow from Harlow Sugar House. Simone from Scott Farm. Bowden. We're all happy to be here, and it's great to see all you guys here. You got apples, though, don't you? We, yeah, we do. We ha we. So the big news is that I think all of us have enough fruit to at least be selling out of our own markets. So we do have apples. Come see us. Come buy them. We'll have even more apples next year. And we're making cider. And we're making cider and and donuts and pies and everything too. So so come see us, even though we don't have pick your own. Hi everybody, this is Mike Merwicki again. Um, as one of the local state representatives in the Vermont House of Representatives, I wanted to let everyone here know um, we are certainly following this and we're gonna be doing our best to see what we can do to also help the orchards get through to next year. And at the federal level, I have a message here from our Congresswoman, Becca Ballant, who, who also, as you probably know, she's been as they say, up to her neck in alligators this week, and uh, or worse, uh, and she's she's certainly fighting the good fight in Washington. Uh, so she couldn't be here, but she did send a message here, and I'm going to read this. Good afternoon. I'm so sorry, I'm not able to be with you today, but I want to expend my heartfelt gratitude to the retreat forum and the many friends and neighbors who are putting on this wonderful benefit for our beloved orchards. There's nothing more Vermont than the sweet smell of apples ripening in the fall, and I know too many orchards are missing this piece of our common identity after the devastating late freeze this spring. Our local farmer, farmers and food systems, along with our local economy, have been harmed and need our help. Events like this are the best of Vermont, with community members coming together with music and joy to provide that help in a year of climate events that have challenged and tested so many towns and communities around our state, the caring and support Vermonters so quickly provide to each other is a source of light. Music can be healing, even in times less trying than these, and as I work hard to push back against the sad dysfunction this weekend in Washington, I'm so glad to know our neighbors and community have come together at this concert to support the stewards of our land. Thank you for everything, and I'm sending my very best wishes. Becca Ballant, Congresswoman Vermont. Thank you, Becca. And thanks to everybody. Next year, better. Thanks again, everybody. We've got more music coming up shortly. Good food and all sorts of treats behind me. Have fun today. Thanks again for being here.
What's that? It's flat. Evolve in a glorious way. We're going to have music. We're going to have some people coming up here and chatting a little bit about our beautiful orchards here in Vermont. And that's what we're here for to support those farmers, those orchards that take care of our land, that nurture this beautiful earth that we have here. And so we would like to start with a couple of songs that will just set the tone for the day for you, give us a little place and space, get our minds set for the reason why we are here. And so let's get this party started. Yeah! Right here in our home. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Thanks to everyone for making this day possible. And unfortunately, I can't say thanks to climate, which is really why we're here. The reality is 
climate's here, it's now, and we have to do something about it. Whether it's the floods or our orchards getting hit, other agriculture. Uh, this year, all the rain make it hard just to get hay in. Now that corn's getting cut, it's hard with the ground being so wet. And I hate to say this is the new normal, but I think this is it. And uh, it's up to all of us to do what we can to change this. And um, One of those reasons I am glad to be here in Vermont for, for this. We are Vermont Tambor, and we are happy to be here starting off this beautiful show. Indeed. Woo! Yeah. This is Amelia Struthers. I'm Mike Morwicki. Hey. And we live in Putney, and uh, we are glad to be here. Uh, be here in support of the, the five local orchards and orchards across the state, and across the region that were really just swamped. One of the things that we want to keep reminding people, though, while the orchards have suffered huge losses, they still have apples. There are some apples. They have about 10%. They have some good apples. They're making cider. They're making cider donuts. And uh, one way we could support them is to get out and go visit the orchards right now. Uh, they've, they've got their re regular activities going on. And... Uh, if we keep having weather like this, it'll be a, a great thing to do on a, on a day like today.
songs for you before we continue this amazing day of music. We'd like to call up a guest to join us. We are Vermont Tambor. On my left is my extraordinary husband, Mike Merwicky. And extraordinary plus wife. Plus one, Amelia <laughs> Struthers. Good to be back. At this point, though, one of the pleasures I have in, in some of the other work I do, which is working for you in the Vermont legislature, is I get to meet people from all over the state and all over the county. And that's how I got to meet Tristan Roberts here from Halifax. Tristan is the representative for Halifax, Wilmington, and Whitingham. And Whitingham, up in the hills here in Wyndham County. And, uh, Thanks for having me, Mike. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should call this the house band then. <laughs> That's okay. The house is in the house. All right. Well, it's good to see everyone today coming out to support our local orchards. Yeah. yeah. The food trucks are open now. We got orchards back here selling good stuff. So I heard that there were cider donuts, my friends. So that's where I invited you.
on a day like today. All right, we got one more song for you. Pay attention for this one. There may be an opportunity for you to be part of it. <laughs> I think these are folks that brought their singing voices today. At least they're dancing. I see some wiggling going on out there. Fabulous. Maybe a day of wiggling. I'm ready.
hush, hush my darling, don't fear my darling, the light Again, Tristan Roberts for joining Vermont Camber. That's Yay. me, Amelia Struthers, and my husband, Mike Marwicki. Enjoy your day. There's so much more to come. Thank it's you. Support the origins. Thank you. Thanks to our sound guy. Thanks to Pete Barnard for pulling all this music together. And there's lots more to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Safe to unplug. Join it on.